Hey guys, from Joe J5 Lawn here. Um, Turn up the video here. I want to just show like when you first get your slingshot, your brand new shooter, you never really shot before. Um, a few things that are hard to get talk about um, to a beginner. When you pull your slingshot out, your, your bands, you know, a lot of people are tempted to pull them this way against the ties. What that really does is it really shortens the, the band life. And it's just not the proper way to shoot. You want to pull them over the top here. So this style slingshot is called the OTT, which is over the top. Um, like I said, if you're an advanced shooter, this video is not for you. Um, so you pull them over the top this, in this orientation right here. And the way you hold the slingshot, typically back in the day, you'd hold a slingshot like this, like a hammer grip. Everybody thinks that's the way to, to hold them. But the way these are shaped and made, the thumb goes here and the palm goes on that other little groove there that's cut out. So thumb here, palm there. Like that. And then I just kind of wrap my um, pointer finger around. And then, the, and then this right here is cut out for the waist, as the waist of the frame, made for this middle finger to come around. And your other ones can kind of just relax there. It's kind of rounded off here, so they wrap. Um, this design's called the pocket parasite, but most designs are, are you know, quite similar. Um, so, so basically that's how you hold it. I'll show where to anchor at when you draw back and things in a minute. But this is the ammo that I like to recommend. This is just a 3 8 clay ammo. You can buy it just on Amazon or eBay. Um, so this 3 8 clay ammo is really good for when you start. In case you hit yourself in the hand or you hit a window or you have less of a chance of breaking it so this is just safe ammo it's a lot, lot better to use when you first start um, so i typically recommend that for a beginner um, when you load your pouch you want to just make sure the ball is centered in the pouch not like this you want to have it like that or off to one side or the other you want to just have it centered so it's nice to have these little holes you don't need them but it's just nice to have them so you can feel where it's at so then you're going to pinch the ball evenly with your fingers thumb and I like to um, really recommend a straight thumb don't don't roll your thumb over like that and try to pinch, try to keep from doing that just pinch here these two together so right on the side of the ball not in front of it right on the side of it um, when you hold it this this part right here by your hand is actually your, your reference point if you're aiming so you're gonna hold the slingshot sideways rather than up and down you can shoot this way but but generally when people are learning it's, it's sideways like this and I anchor right at my cheek with my thumb, just right against my, right underneath my cheekbone, right here. I anchor with my thumb, my thumbnail, and just draw and point the, the edge of that fork at your target while your bands are lined up straight. Come over here so you can see here a little bit. So if you notice how I'm holding the slingshot, it's straight. Rather than being like this or like this, you don't want that. You want to draw where it's straight up and down. If you're going to aim low, you, you go here up high it's here but they're always in that orientation they're always lined up um, so when you first start shooting come back here hit me again you want to shoot at a close target these are just these are close I mean eventually you'll be able to hit stuff farther out there but when you're first starting you want to just shoot at stuff five you know seven yards away not far so you gain that confidence and, and you're, you're not so worried you know if you're trying to make a shot way out there and you're not comfortable with the slingshot yet you hit yourself in the hand or worse you know but so I'm gonna show, I'm gonna anchor right to my cheek. You're gonna just start close, like I said. Right to my cheek, top corner on the target, and let it go. Load another one. Anchor to your cheek, top corner on the target, and let a nice, smooth, clean release go. Um, with time, it's gonna become much easier. Let's try the, little, the one that's a little far. That one's probably uh, 12, 12 feet away. Maybe, man, that's probably farther than that. It's probably 20 feet away. And these clay, these clay, uh, these clay balls, they fly pretty well. Um, better than I thought they would. I thought they would kind of veer off to the side. They're pretty true. They shoot pretty true. And as you can see, they got a pretty nice, pretty nice impact. Um, but their slingshots are so much fun once you get used to them. You sit here and hit something over and over again. And as I said, this clay is perfect for that. So it's penetrated. You can see. Um, walk over here. Really quickly, I'll show you. You can see that it penetrated the bottom of the can, which is not soft. The bottom of that can isn't soft there. I went right into it with no problem. So plenty of plenty of pop still on those. Um, these bands, I tune them to different different uh, for am different ammo for being super fast for hunting or just target bands. These are more of a target style band, and you can see the de the destruction still. So. Um, hope that clears up a lot of questions that I've been getting uh, lately. And for somebody that's brand new, just takes it out of the package, 
hopefully this helps you out some and uh, helps you understand. I appreciate you guys looking. Thank you.